So moving forward then, we spoke about Eric Ten Hag. What about Arsenal's future? Obviously, if they do make it to fourth spot, it might change um, their plans just a little bit in terms of the kind of players that can, they can bring in. But you look at the positions that's on the pitch now in Arsenal. Where do you think is the most important area they need to address, Gilberto? Well, it's a good question. Um, but I, I think what's going to be important for them for next season, uh, but before get to the next season, qualify for the Champions League next year. Because qualifying, you know, uh, is a different scenario. They, they need to, to bring maybe a few players, maybe not many, because the team is improving. They got a very good younger players, but probably somebody up front, you know, a striker, somebody who can score goals. So not Eddie Nketiah for you then to lead the line? No, he can be there, but um, probably another another one. You know, uh, of course he's doing his job. And I hope they don't need to, to buy because he, he'll do the job. But um, let's see. Let's see what uh, maybe in the other positions. But uh, at the moment they are doing well. I think this is important. And after that and uh, achieve the goal of qualifying qualifying for the next season uh, in the Champions League and they will have time to work on it. Jens? I would go for a strike as well, a tall one, because uh, when Olivier Giroud was here, uh, he wasn't regularly playing, but sometimes, you know, in a, against tough opponents who were sitting deep, you needed to have a big, strong, tall striker who was very, really good with his head. And that always suits a team like Arsenal because the uh, opposition is all, most of the time is dropping deep. Who, who are you thinking when it comes to a tall striker that you think would suit Arsenal's way? Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll come out of retirement, but okay, you can, try, you can certainly try to get him out of it. But well, there are a couple of strikers. I, I, I wouldn't uh, do name dropping here, but uh, there are a couple of strikers around who would fit that criteria. Do you think that that's the profile of strikers that Arsenal should go for? I think. Uh, it's good when you have a different type of players in a, in a certain position. You know? For example, you have Nketiah, he's a one style of player, maybe you have a tall guy. It's a different type of style because at some points, you know, some moments in the game, on you know, different games, you need uh, both of them. Some for one game and some that are going to get, let's say, 10 minutes. Join the game, 10 minutes and score goals. This uh, is the importance of having different type of players mm -hmm. for each position. Well, I think Mikel Teta probably already has someone in his mind as well, already has plans uh, for the summer.